Relative extrema is a, a very popular type of test question, and that's one that basically is just asking you to find the local mins and maxes, uh, as opposed to the absolute, which we'll get to in another video. So in order to find the relative extrema, or the local minimums and maximums, the first thing you need to do, of course, is take your derivative of your function. So if you're asked to find the relative extrema of some function f of x, first you want to take the derivative, and you want to find the critical numbers. So remember that the critical numbers are the points at which the derivative is either equal to 0 or f prime of x is undefined. But remember that these numbers have to be in the domain of your function. So for example, uh, a function that has a vertical asymptote, at the point where it has its vertical asymptote, its derivative is undefined. However, that does not count towards this because that point was a vertical asymptote and not in the domain of your function. So you want to find the critical numbers, you want to put them on a number line. So let's just call our critical numbers C1, C2, etc., however many you might have. And then the last thing you want to do is you want to plug in your derivative, uh, plug in numbers in each range on this number line into your derivative. So you need to pick a number here, a number here, a number here, and if you had more critical numbers, pick numbers in the rest of the ranges. All you need to do is try them in the derivative and see if you get positive or negative values. So let's say we got something like, when we plugged in this number to the derivative, we got a positive value. And here we got a negative, and here we got a positive. We're ready to determine where our local extrema are. So remember that if the derivative is positive, that means our function is increasing. And if the derivative is negative, that means our function is decreasing. So right here at C1, our function switches from increasing to decreasing. And here at C2, our function switches from decreasing to increasing. Remember, we always go from left to right. So this point right here must be a local max, C1. And this point right here, C2, since it goes from decreasing to increasing, this must be a local min. And those would be the relative extrema, the relative max and the relative min of this function. So remember the key here is taking the derivative, finding the critical numbers, and setting up your number line appropriately in order to find the relative extrema.